So, as a recap, we are playing as Spain, and our goal from the beginning was to attempt to go for a religious victory. Um, we did indeed found our religion. It's the, the cult of the Drowned Kuda. Um, we did indeed do that. Uh, we are playing on Deity Difficulty, Epic Speed, Island Plates Map. Uh, I went with Maximum City States, although it took us forever to find them, because apparently they're all in the south for some reason. I don't know if that's normal with Island Plates, or if we just happened to luck out that way. I have no idea um, how that went. But uh, they're mostly there in the south. Um... So, we did get a religion. We started doing a little bit of spread. Now, the AI, of course, on Deity always has a huge edge. They start with four free techs, four free civics, uh, and a huge percentage boost to their science. So, they get, like, the ability to build, say, campuses earlier. And on top of that, they get more science per turn for free because they're on Deity. So, they always start um, uh, ahead, which is usually why you're forced on Deity to do at least one or two wars to capture some of that territory, which will allow you to catch up. Um, but somehow, some way... Two of the enemy civs have gone crazy. You can see, first of all, Peter and uh, Jedwigo over here, basically no science on either one of them. We're crushing them. We're, we're making, you know, 190 science per turn. They're at 40 and 40. Um, uh, China, 130, so we're beating them. Monty at 190. We're equal to them. Of course, he started with more science early on, so he's probably ahead in actual text, but our rate is the same. But somehow we've got freaking Nubia and Congo going insane with science. They don't have that much territory. They don't even have that many mountains, it feels like. But they're going insane with science somehow. Um, and that is probably... Well, there's no probably. Those are the two threats to our victories over here. We're going to take a quick look um, at, at the situation here. Um, Score-wise, we're winning. Okay, sure. That's fine. Um, obviously, that's only a fraction of the picture. But hey, good on us. Uh, for science, so, uh, Amnator, Amnatore, I don't know, I'll just say Nubia, it's shorter. Um, Nubia, over here, has completed the first two steps of the science victory, and for the final step, has all the technologies. However, she has to build three different, um, projects, I guess, to win the science victory, the three Mars parts. She doesn't have any of them built. In addition to that, someone else, not even me, someone else blew up her, um, launch pad, and she's only got the one right now. So we might be able to um, to keep her in sort of a static state that way, which will be good. No one else has made any particular efforts. I mean, the technology is all there, but they haven't, like, you know, not even launched an Earth satellite or anything like that. Culture-wise, we've got to watch out for the Congo. They've got 128 foreign tours. They only need 533. Uh, to win a victory, and these rates tend to go up if he starts to build, you know, more of the coastal whatevers and things like that. That those numbers tend to go up incredibly quickly and can catch us um, a little bit off guard. The problem is there's not a really good way to like just stop the culture. I mean, you've got to like stop the things that are producing the tourist bits, and even then, some may still trickle in, right? Like even if we take his capital, it doesn't mean he couldn't just trickle over from the other things. That being said, he doesn't have a lot of cities. Um, as far as I know, he's only got four. So if we did take one city, it would probably put a huge dent into that. Um, he, some of his cities, three of them are converted over to our religion. So that has gone there. So anyway, that's the other threat. We got to keep an eye on him. Um, in terms of domination, I mean, we're the only people who have captured capital. I don't think anyone's going to do that. That's going to be fine. I mean, they'd have to conquer me, in which case we'd already lose. So that's going to be okay. Um... And then religion. So this is ideally how we'd like to win. To do that, we have to convert um, for each other civilization. We have to convert at least 50% of their um, population. This is 50% of the cities. Um, but I think bigger cities are weighted more. So, But basically, half their cities have to follow our religion uh, for it to count in our category. And if we can do that to absolutely everyone then we win a religious victory. Now, Monty has been spreading pretty aggressively his Zoroastrianism, so that'll be one of the big things. Um, and we'll really need to look for opportunities to get into religious combat with him, um, as opposed to just, like, forcing the conversion, because, you know, in theory, we might be producing the same amount of faith, so just flat-out conversion will be the same. If we can be smarter about religious combat uh, and kill some units that way, especially near his cities or something like that, to get free conversions to our stuff and deconversions away from his stuff, that'll be really good. So, we're still going to try that. Short term, here's what we got. 
Greece, we had to wipe out completely because apparently Gorgo never, ever, ever GG's for anything. She'll never give up anything in a beast deal. So we had to wipe her out completely, which wasn't what I was hoping for. But there we go. Um, we did. were able to convert a lot of her cities, almost all of her cities, for free because of having a conquistador adjacent to it when we took the city. There's only one that... Um, is still Buddhist, which is fine. It doesn't really cause us any kind of trouble. Um, the cities are decent. Obviously, they lost some stuff along the way, but they're mostly okay. Um, not that many ter tile terrains got obliterated during the war. We only had to pillage a few of the sea resources, and it's not a big deal. Um, now, the cities are still sitting around with a lot of war weariness, which means we really can't just jump into the next war right away, or we'll have massive rebellion problems. So no matter what, we have to <sighs> take a breath pause and do something now we have unlocked battle tech tech or battleship tech i should say and have been in fact upgrading our fleet to that now some people are going around um with missile cruisers but not that many i'm not sure that they are going around with armadas of it so we're probably still in a good shape uh militaristically um so that much is good now in terms of tech we have been researching flight which is fine oh uh, we had the boost to it and everything which is okay um going forward we only have one source of oil that we know about, which is here. Hey, Matt. Thank you very much for that. Um, some, oh, it's, I did see you say something about your email. Uh, you, that's, as far as I know, that's the only time we've seen an email in there. Sorry about that, Matt. Uh, there's, there's probably another nickname field that you could have put something in there. I'm terribly sorry. Um, uh, what kind of mods are you running? Only one mod is what we're running. Um, which is CQUI changes none of the gameplay whatsoever. It's clear, clearly, purely a UI mod is all it does. It doesn't change any of the gameplay. It just changes the user interface. A um, couple of optimizations with pop-ups. A couple of that fewer clicks. Like when you want to change your uh, your government, it gets rid of the stupid first tab, which is just like viewing your government it's like well what's the point in that there's literally no point in having that first tab where you can't do anything because you can get all the information from the other two little things like that really make it great for queuing and things like that uh thank you to the three people who just sent in uh some tips to cover up uh, matt's email there uh you guys are awesome and this will not the email will not show up on on youtube because i was crop out um crop to just the game so hopefully that'll be okay thank you very much rose salon and luna chod and Gamer Cat, who all sent in something to try to cover things up. You guys are heroes, and I appreciate your support, of course, at the same time. Thank you. Um, you guys keep the channel, like, rocking and rolling. The people who are watching, the people who are subbing, the people who send in tips. You keep making this happen. Uh, still haven't really figured out why, but I, I kind of appreciate it. So thank you. Thank you very much for that. Um, we have an apostle over here. Now, I also, and I don't know why I did this, before the stream, I, like, clicked on cities and I queued up some build well I didn't queue up buildings I like set up a thing in the in the thing and I was like wait why, why did I do that off stream I don't know like I set up a factory here and honestly I don't want to set up a factory here I want to set up another spy um because I want to make sure to have uh, our max number which apparently I think is two because I can't queue up another spy here yeah so two spies uh we're gonna keep one over in Nubia we will send one over to the Congo and see if we can steal their great works that would be nice. I mean, the other thing I could do is abuse the diplomatic glitch in the game to get, like, great works for one gold. But I'm not going to do that because it's stupid. There is a patch coming out soon. There are, there are two new um, civilizations that have been announced as well. Indonesia and Khmer. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it right. Uh, they're not out yet, but they've been announced. So uh, maybe we'll time it so that we get to play them right when... Uh... Uh, right when Spain finishes, we'll see how it goes. Let's go and repair some of these fishing boats. Um, that's actually not a repair job, and that one's actually outside of range. Well, we'll deal with it when we get there. Uh, that is an almost but not quite dead apostle. Oh, right, we, we'd already, um, attacked last turn, so we want to try to kill that guy, which will be great. All right, this apostle over here, what's your promotion? Uh, you get gold if you convert a city, which is fine and swell. Um... I think I'll go and convert this city. This will be very, very, very cheap to convert. This new city over here with Nubia. I mean, Nubia is already in our side, but not overwhelmingly slow. It'd be great to kill these Aztec settlers, but I don't want to declare war right now. We gotta, we've got to get rid of some of our war exhaustion. Um, can I? Not there, because that's the wrong religion. Can I get Inquisitors over here? Yes, I can. Now, I mean, I have some, but there's more apostles coming in here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get another Inquis... I... I can't remember. I have a lot of Inquisitors, actually. I just remembered. 
One, two, over here. I think I've got some more. So never mind, I actually don't want to make more Inquisitors. We're good on that. So yeah, in terms of our ships, um, part of me kind of wants to just park off the coast of Nubia or Congo. Maybe I'll just do that for now. I don't know. Can't you spend Monarch points to get rid of War Exhaustion? <laughs> Uh, can you close borders to them? Um, I don't think you can, actually, for the Riddler's units. Even in Civ 5, you couldn't. They could walk through, they'd lose power, but that doesn't apply here. We're going to do a spread over here. Take the opportunity to snoop around China as well. Um, and yeah, here we're just keeping an eye on things. You know what? Just, just be on alert mode. That's going to be okay. So I think we're good to finally go to the next turn. We do have a new city over here. Gain scale. After the Barbarians went away, got us some Citrus, which is nice. Keep away that scurvy on this aquatic map. <laughs> uh, taught in college, so I know how hard it is to do monologues. Make sure I pay attention to the piles of students. Always admire it when I see it well done, like here with Quill. Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you know, I like I like hearing myself talk, apparently, so that works out. Uh, <laughs> I, I did teach for a while, and I really, really, really enjoyed teaching. I thought it very satisfying. I guess we're going to fishing boat this up. We still have our Pantheon, which will get to take advantage of it. And yet, not that many tiles to actually repair, so... Fishing boats. I think we'll need some more builders soon. Um, right, we're going to convert you. Which is going to be very easy to do. It does use our final charge on that guy, which I may have wanted to keep around for religious combat, although he's already in foreign land, so I think it's okay. And close borders to the Civ with Settlers. Oh, well, I don't think that matters. I don't think they're coming to where I am. They're, they're just going through the sea to somewhere, you know? They're going to settle, like, here or here or something. Because the AI always spams out a million and one settlers. Okay. That's a lot of apostles. Now. Can I get a kill on this guy? Yes, I can. Okay. Excellent. And I'm going to go and finish this one off as well. Now, even though the conversion doesn't matter that much, although I got a couple of cities, really, like, I want the religious shifts to happen in other people's civilizations more than my own, because it's really easy to do some conversions in my own cities. But at least, if he keeps spamming me with apostles, it means he's not sending apostles somewhere else, which means he's going to run low on faith, which is nice. Got a Caravel Armada here. We need more money to be able to upgrade due to our uh, Ironclad Armada, which we will want to do. We can actually do that next turn. I'll just keep you in our territory and do that. Um, the Conquistador over here can apparently... Oh, he can be caught up, and we will do that. No reason for us to have multiple Conquistadors. Right, we did grab a settler from Spain at some point. Um, you know what I'm wondering? What if I settle right here? And then purchase the Cocoa Tiles, securing more oil. Not that we really need the oil. But, I mean, we don't really need anything. I mean, we could save the guy until we figure out that we don't have uranium, because we don't have anything any time ever. I kind of like that idea. Uh, oh, yeah, Demoline is just asking now, do we have a plan for the settler I captured? I'm thinking this. Um, this guy was not captured of Spain. He's captured from Greece. I'm Spain. Oh, did I say Spain? That's probably... That sounds like the sort of thing I would say. And so, Battleship Armada. I don't know who our most immediate threat will be. For all I know, the Aztecs are going to freaking declare war on me. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, who dits? I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. HUD, thank you very much. Hey, Quill. Uh, last I have time to watch your stream. It will be a great night watching you conquering the world with a glass of 12-year-old blended scotch whiskey. Cheers. Oh, lovely. Lovely. See, blended scotch gets a bad rep, mostly because a lot of it is is not malted, right? It's not like it's not malt scotch. It's you know corn liquor type of thing, which can still be fine. It's just often not as interesting. But uh, you can actually get really good aged uh, blended scotches that are quite tasty, or it's whiskeys. I should was I should say. Oh, you did say scotch whiskey. There you go. Although if it's scotch whiskey, don't spell it with an e. There's no e in scotch whiskey. Neither Canadian whiskey. No e in it. Spread some more religion over here. And... Um, I get... Hold on. If I go to war with Nubia, I guess I gotta be a little bit, um, aware of this city here, right? Uh, 
I don't need to buy that oil tile right now because no one can possibly take it from me. Hmm. I haven't really talked about the uh, the two new sieves. Um, they don't we don't have the mechanical specs out yet for them, right? Like it's just like the description of what they kind of do. You've got like the um, the Indonesian compound and, and things like that. Um, and we don't know if they're going to be super good or super not. Now, these are just bonus resources. They're not luxuries. They're out of range of a city. So I don't actually have to improve them. I may as well go and improve that stone, for example. And yeah, over here, we're just going to sit on alert. I think we'll have to plan on taking that first. Um, who are you? Relic, if it dies. Now, we know there's a bunch of barbarians over here, so we got to be a little bit careful. But there are some cities that we need to, to take attention to. Um, I don't have enough faith for the Apostle. This is still the same turn. Every time I hit next turn, there's like something else requiring my attention first. No. Well, here's interesting. I might want to give in to, to Monty here. And the reason I say that is because a war with him doesn't benefit me at all. And this doesn't really cost me much. I've got a second citrus. It's barely any gold whatsoever. I think I'm going to accept this because if I'm going to be warring with anyone, it's either going to be Congo or Nubia. So I'm going to go and do this. He might still declare war. You know, things like this could happen. He's the only person who rivals me militaristically. I don't usually give things away, but I think this would be a good strategic time. Nubia has denounced Congo. Now, that's very interesting. Uh, we are going to do repair the granary. Uh, oh, excellent. We successfully got sources here. We've got no promotion. The research lab is still broken. Um, now, stealing the tech boost is very tempting, but I'm actually wondering if sabotaging production might actually be better here. I'm going to sabotage the Petra. I'm going to sabotage production. Are there still a million barbarians over here? Ooh, not that I can see. All right. You are hanging out over there. Can I get anyone else to attack you this turn? Yes, I can, because you're next to a city, I think. Not quite dead. I mean, if we're doing Monty Python skits, we may as well, you know, do them all. Guess we'll leave the Conquistador up here. I want to upgrade you to an ironclad, probably now, even though I do want to buy that cocoa and make sure we're okay for that. And yeah, we're going to come up here and prepare to do this if we do do Nubia. You have not converted yet. Grr. Uh, hold on. This guy gets the bonus in theological combat. I should probably leave him for this. Minigara, thank you very much. Quill, happy to catch a live stream. Enjoy uh, some whiskey on me. And it's hashtag Team Pixel Day, so win-win for me. I don't know what that last part means. I'm sure someone will like me in the chitty chat, so I would appreciate that. But uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be doing some medicinal whiskey to help out with my illness uh, right after the stream. I'm sure I will. Uh, it's Fairhawk, thank you as well. Hey, cool, you're playing my three favorite games to watch. At the same time, RimWorld Factorio and Stellaris. Cheers! And Laheim. Well, thank you very much. I want to do more Stellaris at some point. Um, I'm not sure when the next run of Stellaris will be after the uh, the Synthetic Dawn. Um, but it is very compelling. Some of the late game combat, though, I, I still find a little dull. I don't know. So, yeah, we're going to scooch back over here and see what we can possibly get going on. Though I don't know yet. Mm 
Yeah, I think... I don't know. It actually might be Congo. Because we might be able to keep Nubia down. Okay, denounce me, sure. Oh, great scientist. If you can walk away from a landing, it's a good landing. If you use the airplane the next day, it's an outstanding. I mean, that's that's my theory when I play flight simulators. So, tourism airstrips. I don't think any of these are things we need to worry about right now. So, next tech is an excellent and very interesting question. I don't think there's anything else that helps with religious victories. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think we're kind of done in that aspect. So it's mostly stuff that will help us not lose, which is mostly going to be military stuff. Get a little bit more farming from replaceable parts. Like, part of me is thinking nuclear arm or combined arms. Uh, we will unlock the destroyer, which is fine. Um, we'll reveal uranium, which is good for production. I mean, we also need plastics for the oil. We actually might want to go plastics first. Reveal the oil. Um, although I don't know if, what we need oil for. What do we actually need oil for? Tanks or something? Not actually, like, anything we need. You need uranium for that. I mean, if there's anything, it would be, like, on this tier of stuff, right? Oh, aircraft carrier needs oil. I wonder if there's anything else. So, the, the plastic concern may not be quite as critical. Um, revealing, revealing aluminum helps our production. Revealing uranium helps our production. And certainly we'll be going for bombs. Although, uh, we need a fair amount of stuff for that. More spies from the computer. Okay, we're taking electricity so we can build the seaport. And then I think we're revealing aluminum. Then we're going to go for combined arms into nuclear fission. I think I kind of like that plan. Trade route over here. Um, we might want to have the trade route originate from one of our cities over here that's got a fair amount of repair work to do. I don't know, I think it's okay. Sort by production. Get the free production in a few different places. Yeah, I kind of feel like Congo, if we can't, like, steal a bunch of their freaking art things so that we can actually start producing things, might actually be a much more a much more significant threat than Nubia. Unless Nubia decides to declare war on me or something like that. Which could, of course, happen. You're going to kill that guy. You can go into the city. Rest and repair. Rest and repair. Um, Ironclad Armada, you are good for now. This infantry, I think I'm just going to fortify up. It's just a single infantry, not any kind of organization. Uh, we're going to have to be ready to run away from here before we die, though. So I think I'm just going to chill. I'm going to try not to get this guy murdered right now. But we'll see what we can do later. And I do feel like we can safely land here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can always do an exclamation mark mods in the chat to see our list of uh, the list of mods for most games I play, including the active one. And you can thank the mods for that. Yeah, I'm gonna move the uh, the armadas away for now. I mean, we, we're not declaring war one way or another right now anyway, because we have to wait for all of the war weirdness to burn off. Ah, uh, maybe it has. Is it once one per turn? And has it been that many turns? Uh, we do have trade routes being produced at a few places. I could spend money, and while I can't, because actually there's some upgrades, we will be building more trade route stuff. Congo denounced Poland. Congo is working on future civics. So yeah, they're they're done. They're done, those trees. It all works on natural history. Oh, we got a boost on, on urbanization. Natural history, natural history is done. We can build some archaeologists. Um...
I'm kind of tempted to keep what we've got. We've got extra stuff for holy stuff, extra stuff for science. The gold and the faith from trade routes is important with triangular trade. Meritocracy is a fair amount of culture, which is good. Um, Wars of the Religion may or may not be that relevant. Um, we don't have any religious combat stuff, do we? Plus five strength. That's another freaking economic card, though. And I don't know what I'd want to remove for this. You know what I mean? Like, that is... That is pretty hard to give up. And the thing is, wars of religion may not be... It'll be relevant for some people. If we go against Congo or Nubia, it won't matter. I actually might just want to run conscription to make a lot more gold. We're not doing too badly on money, but that would help. I don't know if press gangs is relevant anymore. Amenities for garrison units, I don't think that helps too much. We just need more yellow slots is what we need. Like, we could consider... No, there's no government that would help us. Not until we get to the next tier, get democracy or communism. I don't think I'm going to make a change. I think I need the meritocracy, for example, to keep up the culture so we can unlock the new government types so that we have more options. Yeah, we could lose professional army, but what do you replace it with, is the question. I guess we are more or less done with upgrades. Uh, we will want to do a destroyer from our ironclad, but even that's not a big deal. Just pick up conscription, I guess. I think we'll do that. Does look like we have envoys to use. Let's take a look at that. Hey, Gamer Cat, thank you very much. Now for the tip I was gonna leave for real. My boss at the haunted house I work at. What? That's cool. I increased our pay, so I have some Halloween chocolate on me. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to get some uh, some pre-Halloween supplemental candy so that we can start going. Uh, I'm thinking of the, like the box. If we can find a box of like Coffee Crisp and Kit Kat and stuff like that. That'd be pretty good, right, Essentia? Exactly. Um, I feel like we're pretty far. Well, we could suzerain uh, Jakarta pretty easily, which is interesting. I don't know what their be bonus is. You get a little bit more gold from that. I mean, we could get more gold from our commercial hubs. Now, we have a ton of them. We get Palenque over. And that actually would be kind of nice. A little bit more science and then the higher growth rate. And take it away from Nubia. I think we're going to start working on Palenque. Plus is more science short term. You bring the light in. Hey, thank you very much. Loving the stream as always. Cheers. Thank you. Da, 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 da. All right. Uh, well, we're going to set up some mines. All right. You're all healed up. That's good. Oh, more religious combat coming up. You can heal just by a city, right? I mean, it lets me hit the rest and repair button. I actually don't know if you have to be, like, adjacent to a holy site to heal or not. I think cities work. We need to rename this city. Uh, I have the list up. I just have to randomize you. So, you are going to be 343 Gamers. Welcome to the Empire. And we're going to purchase at least one Cocoa over there so that we have access to it. Um, and you're going to get started on a monument right away just to get a little bit more border pressure. Cheers and thank you. So, it looks like we're going into China over here. Excellent. Small city, easier to convert. That's nice. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll pop you away from here. I don't want to lose any of these guys right now. If I don't have to. Yeah, I might be able to build a Mosse Michel somewhere. And yeah, that, like, you could get skyscrapers for the boost. That is true. Oh, I broke a promise. Boo hoo. So the question is do we declare war on the Congo? I mean, yes, I should denounce them first. The question is do I denounce them? She's still static there. 
just take away the capital. Like, just literally just take away the capital, slow down his culture growth, and then it's another... Um, that's another capital in our cap in case we need to go domination victory. I mean, you know, it's war. We like war, right? Do you like getting confused what coffee crisp is? Coffee crisp is delicious. Yeah, it's like it's like a, a wafer like chocolate bar, like wafers inside, enrobed in chocolate, um, slight coffee flavor. Like imagine a larger, less crispy Kit Kat. What now? About like sort of like a Kit Kat, but that's you know larger around and slightly coffee flavored. And I don't like coffee flavored things very much, and it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Um, you can get started, I think, on just a shipyard here. Well, we do need more traders. You know what? Go ahead and get that going on. Um, yeah, you're doing some conversion stuff. Now, I can't attack you as is, but I can pop down here. And, um, so the mission gets plus two on another continent, and it gets science. If next to a campus... Yeah. And plus two science with cultural heritage. You know what? Build a mission. It's fine. Uh, you've got all the spreads. Let's get it going. And you've got a bunch of spreads, but we already had... No, we didn't have someone convert this. Or someone spread it back. There we go. And it converted for the first time, and we get some extra money. Very nice. I actually have enough. I could buy the second cocoa, which I think we're going to do. It's very expensive, but yeah, that's going to be fine. Uh, we're going to need some more builders here soon. Oh, Matcha Kit Kat. Yeah, it's good. I've had that. Delicious. Allow me. A Coffee Crisp is the adult version of Kit Kat Chunky. With slight less chocolate and a bit more wafer. Yeah, yeah, it's a very thin, thin chocolate coating. Uh, where'd the Apostle go? Damn it. He ran away over here. Oh, he's going to convert that city. So that's going to cap us on traders. Uh, we have enough faith for more apostolage. Although if I want to do it somewhere, I need to do it. Well, I guess it doesn't actually matter. I need to make sure it's got the mosque or whatever for the extra spread. But uh, that's going to be fine. You know what? Give me a builder going on. And maybe another one here. Well, your production rates suck. Whatever, do it anyway. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like this is the way to go. I feel bad. Congo and I have mostly been bros the entire game. Alright, I'm going to denounce them. We don't have to declare war just because we denounced them, but this way... Well, I mean, it really doesn't matter too much. Oh, Oh, he denounced me. I can already form a war him. I mean, warmonger penalty doesn't actually really matter at this point in the game. Everyone already hates me. Alright, you're mine, you're mine, you're mine. Let's see what is deeper into this territory. Uh, barbarian, that's kind of annoying. Convert, damn you! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> chat is becoming embroiled in food chat again. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Oh, denounced. 
thinks I'm a warmonger. You kill one little civilization, and the world gets scared. Uh, electricity, we're just going to hard research. That's fine. Can we fit another district here? Oh, yeah. Let's get a harbor going here. Which we've been planning since, like, the beginning of the game. It's one of the first little ticks that we put down, actually. Which is kind of amazing. Um, yeah, Mont Saint-Michel, if we go... I can't remember the buttons to cycle. Is there anywhere that can build it? Get them free relics. Uh, Breezy can. It'll only take 560 turns. So I'm going to go with no. I, I didn't see another one. Uh, and now I'm looking at the um, the wall repair. We've got a few places that can repair out our defenses. I guess this doesn't happen automatically when you take a city anymore. Fresh Spain and Bel Air. That's right. You got it. Uh, Nara's got pretty crap production as well. Um, might just start another district. There, more harbors. I mean, it's always more trade routes and stuff too, which is okay. Plus, ooh, we could potentially get more um, more production boosts, um, or just more um, more places building armadas, which might be the only way we survive. Uh, Humpotomus. Humpa Humpopotamus. It's like, I knew it was like, like Hippopotamus, but like, I knew it was also not like Hippopotamus, so I was trying to like overpronounce everything. Humpopotamus, thank you very much! Hey Quill, it's my first time catching one of your live streams, as I'm usually at work. I'd love to see you do a game on large or huge map 16 plus civs one day. Keep up the great work. Um, I do enjoy playing on those sides. The problem is they do tend to get quite slow in the late game. Um, is one of the issues. Also, um, on Deity, you really do tend to have to, like, bring the pain to a Civ to, like, stop them from just winning. And that can be quite hard to do on a very large map where you can't necessarily rush someone. Um, so that's interesting. This does count as a major victory, even though I'm not standing in friendly territory. But I guess I'm attacking into friendly territory. Which is what matters with Inquisitors. Good to know. Alright, well, we should be able to get a kill on him. I feel like there's something else. Oh, yeah, you were in the line, and I think sent in a tip that I didn't notice a few minutes ago. I might be wrong, but I... No, I did see. That's right, I did. I remember that message now. Silly me. Hey, Commissioner Gordo. <laughs> Who was St. Michel? St. Michael? I actually don't know. I don't know who that saint was and what he did and why he has a mountain named after him. I think you're just going to chill there and there. I wish there was an alert mode for Inquisitors, though. Well, first of all, we should be lined up by his actual capital city here. Oh right, and he's got some he's got some a few advanced ships here and there. I mean he's got his missile cruiser there, although by itself it's not a problem. Um We're gonna want to start by blowing up that melee ship probably. If we do this. Let's wait a turn. Uh, new Apostle over here. Promotion available. Gold. Medic. Well, we'll take the gold, because you are, your job is to convert over cities. That's fine. Um, and yeah, you're going to keep going. I feel like there's, there's more than one trade route coming out of here, actually. Um, I'm going to move you. You know what? You're going to move to Breezy, which is at super crap production rates. So you've converted over Shendu. That's good. We'll keep bopping around with you. I feel if we don't stop Congo, we're going to have a bad time. Uh, you actually need to move um, over here. Da -da 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 -da. 
as far as I know, the science victory status is exactly the same. She only has the one um, research lab, or spaceport, I should say, the one spaceport, and Opera it's been pillaged been for a long time. Another spy got it. it. We're going to try to keep a really close eye on it. Opera and Belay is done. We could try to build the Bolshoi, which I think is, is wonderful, both you know in-game and in general. Um, again, I don't think we need any real policy changes. Yeah, I think we're okay. In terms of civics, well, we've already got the boost to urbanization. Scorched Earth doesn't really go anywhere, so it does seem like the way to go. We don't need this because we can already build armadas. I mean, we might pick it up at some point. I think what we end up doing is, like, beelining to democracy or something. Well, we'll uh, we'll work our way up to mobile to ideology, and then we'll see, because we need we need more more slots for policies. Um, Dino J, I believe you're gonna build a shipyard production and be ready to build armadas and stuff directly. Uh, we are gonna go right. I was gonna take Palenque away from from Nubia, which might still be okay, but I'm wondering if there's a thing I can do for the Congo instead. Lisbon's actually pretty easy target, but I mean, we can't do it before the war starts, so I may as well just um, get Palenque on our side. And from over here, yeah, you can go to Nellop or something like that. Keep going for max production. Oh, I should send a trade route way over here. And, oh, looks like that thing died. Well, I'll guard the city with an Inquisitor. Going for, oh, he's way over here! Um, yeah, Major Defeat. He's not actually standing in our territory, so we can't attack him as is. Being kind of annoying. I guess I'll convert my city over, although it's not a big deal. Um, okay. Do we go? I think we go. Oh, it's named after the Archangel? Oh, okay. First of all, is the Archangel a saint? That's interesting. Freedom is unnecessary. Only stop the Great Expansion of the Quill Empire. I kind of like that. So yeah, so science-wise, she is still totally static. Culture-wise, I think that's the biggest threat. I think we have to bring the pain to Monty. Or not Monty, uh, Congo. I was thinking Mabanza Congo. So we'll use our formal war since he did denounce me. When I was in Michael is the only saint that's also an angel. That's interesting. These are things I did not know. All right, well. Let's move this way to be closer to the front. And then shoot him. Can I finish him off in melee here? Major victory, not guaranteed. Although, well, let's do it. And if it works, that's good. All right. Uh, what I don't have is vision over the city. Um, do you have enough movement to get in range and then back? No, you don't, because it'd be nice to dart back and forth with the Conquistador to do that kind of jazz, uh, but we can't right now. So assuming I've run out of ships... Then you've got enough movement. I'm going to move forward to get vision. If we can deploy a spy in there, that'd be nice. Shoot the city once, do a lot of damage, and just dart back. So that we don't get hit this turn. I don't want to send a holy unit, because if it dies, and if we're at war, then you can, you can melee attack a holy unit. Then if it dies, it gets like, we get negative everything everywhere. Did I not move you? I was sure I'd queued up a move for you, buddy. I was sure of it. I distinctly remember right-clicking you. Good thing you woke... Oh, or maybe I, I right-clicked you. Okay, that, that could also be true. Uh, 
Oh, you were probably someone else I'd sent to the front. All right, you're getting bombarded by the missile cruiser, but we sh they shouldn't actually be able to take the city. Is it like a great admiral over here? Okay. Um, right, I'm going to send a trade route out of 343 gamers so that you can get leveled up a lot faster. Um, the Ironclad is going to have to take the city, so I do need to get it to rest. So the Conquistador could scooch up, giving us vision. Then all these ships are going to be able to bombard the crap out of the city, doing very good damage. And you're going to be able to pop back out and not die. Hooray! Not dying! You just wait there. Oh. Yeah, I really want these units to be able to auto-wake up. And... Do you not have a city over here? Ah, there you go. You do. I figured you did. Man, it's a lot of oil over here where I can't reach it. You're gonna announce me. Why? Because I'm a warmonger? <laughs> the cities follow Drown Kuda anyway, so why the Conquistador? Um, just in case. I'm, I'm wondering if it does conversion of more people, because they're not 100%. Um, there. And I may as well have it around. I mean, he was great to provide vision. I've got nothing else to do with the Conquistador. He may as well be here. For example, there's a city over here. Now, it's not coastal, but it does not follow the Drowned Kuda, so. But my plan is to just take the city and then peace out. Because, you know, I'm a pacifist. I don't want to deal, deal more pain to them than I have to. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's actually get this ironclad up to the front here. Um, now, this city can't bombard me, so I may not have to worry about running away with the Conquistador, but I will anyway. That went a lot better than expected. Like, why don't I just go for a goddamn domination victory? <laughs> so much easier! Oh, more people! Hello! Um, it might get pillaged, but it's going in the opposite direction. It's probably going to be okay. More range attacks. Yeah, I think all those cities are going to be fine. And yeah, we should be able to take the capital and like more or less peace out really quickly. Did he get lightning bolted? That was an epic rap battle, man. Like we even God gets involved. Oh, the Apostle was killed. Yes. That's poop. Oh, well. Oh, I didn't expect the traitor to go out that way. That's an odd direction for it to go in. Yes, okay. We sabotaged the production of Anubia. That's going to be good. Anything we can keep doing to slow them down is going to be brilliant. Um, okay, so we're good on trade routes. We're good on spies. Yeah, you can go ahead and get a factory for some production because you're going to still probably generate some military units over there. You can repair your granary. You can take a pot shot over there. Yeah, we'll lose some trade routes in here, but you know what? That's okay. We have no idea where the enemy... Oh, there he is. Thank you for dying. All right. Uh, Nubia cities. So, we still have a spy in Marrow, which is where that thing is. So, actually, you know what? We're going to set it, set you to Congo, and we're going to look to steal great works. Now, we don't have to put you in the capital. Um, we'll put you in the Mazamba Nisundi, which is probably going to be the new capital. So just in case this helps for, like, fully converting anyone, I'm going to do that. Major defeat? No, that's fine. I still have, I'm still going to have hit points left. So it's going to be okay. <laughs> Alright, wasn't expecting that message. She's really happy about how many districts I have. Probably because I just stole some districts. So we're going to keep that city. And, uh... Just out of curiosity... 
No, seven turns. Yeah, right. We gotta wait before we can peace out. Yeah, repair the auto, uh, outer defenses. That's your job here. So, I don't know if I'll be able to take the city with a Conquistador. I don't know if it's going to be strong enough to do that, and I can't take it with more ships. So, that's kind of poop. I don't really need more ships, but I may... Or, more cities from him, but, you know. I may as well keep inflicting pain. Convince him to GG out. Not too worried about the bombardment strength from there, so... You go and hunt his other ships. And this is only a fleet, not an armada, but it's probably okay. There, you know what? We're going to go back to, uh, to the coast of Nubia here, because that was really easy. You have a promotion, my friend. You are going to disrupt rocketry as if two levels higher. Hell yes, we don't need it now. But it's going to be handy later. So you are Zoroastrist, so we're going to spread our religion there. Excellent. Take a look at our religion status soon. Oh, we could get some more apostles, although maybe I'll wait until we're at peace. Last thing I want is a few more apostles just getting randomly killed. Wow, that is a hell of a bombard from Kilwa. Or Quilla. I guess they've got the, um, there's the encampment over there as well. Estadio de Maracana. Oh, that's the, uh, Brazilian, if it weren't for electricity, like, football stadium, right? We'll be watching television by candlelight. <laughs> That's a funny quote. Uh, seaports I can now build, which is nice. I've got some more apostles. I've got Palenque. Um, builders can make monasteries. Maybe we should check that out. We almost died, man. Go here, rest and repair. I mean, the thing is, I don't want to take away the cities that are my religion. Because then it actually might hurt the percentage of cities I've got. It becomes that much more critical that I convert this freaking thing over, which is kind of stupid and annoying. Um, yeah, you can't blow up this. We may as well steal a tech boost. Hopefully you don't die. That would be annoying. I could just, like, leave. You know, I could leave one battleship to protect the capital I took. Make sure that a bunch of land forces don't suddenly show up and cause problems. And then move over to Nubia. I feel like at this point we're just going to win domination. Because <laughs> it's so much easier! Like, oh my god, we have to, like, sit on our hands and do nothing just to win a freaking... Marrow's kind of annoying, actually, because it's in the center of the continent. Actually, that would be very, very frustrating. Well, we can keep her down for now. How about Monty? What's his situation? His capital's in the middle. But we might have the option of bringing the pain to him. And just slowing him down. We could take this city very easily. I'm kind of tempted. Uh, we've got a scout who's in a little bit of danger. And is probably just going to die. Uh, Conquistador, just chilling over. I mean, I can... Just, you just push away the great people. That you don't kill them or conquer them or anything like that. In fact, taking a city bordering here will probably just make her declare war on me. And not help because of the religion thing. Although, maybe we could just take Faris. You know, it's like, okay, if the city doesn't follow my religion, we can do that. Although, they've converted over. Let's take a look here. So, if science were still fine, culture, they're going to take a backwards hit, so that's not going to be a thing. Religiously, it's like like Peter and Poland, like, it's we could go and, and take some cities and convert others. Military academies and seaports generate plus one science. Uh, that sounds handy. We're going to go and throw that down there. 
Um, public transport's not something we need right now. But yeah, we can get a little more science. A domination, Vic. What are you, some kind of warmonger? <laughs> it's just so easy to beat up the AI. Oh! It's gonna do, like, nothing. I'll just get killed by the counterattack. Yeah, I don't want to take that city. I'm gonna go and hunt down some of these other ships. And yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to use our war declarations in a way to... Oh, heal outside of friendly territory. Sounds good if I remember that you've got that. But that's probably the upgrade tune we'll take for most people here. You get back in the city. Because, um, yeah, we can force convert things. I could always give cities back. I could, I could capture them, convert them, and then just give them back in a peace deal, which would be kind of hilarious. Keep exploring. Can't believe that scout's still relevant here. Did we lose Nubia? Yeah, we did, actually. Like, we had it, but I think she expanded a few of her cities. If we convert these, we should be back on top there. Some bombards. So we still have multiple turns to wait, right? Yeah, four turns. Yeah, it's getting there. Uh, we can build another trader. Probably because we lost some. You somehow survived and have a promotion. Here. Just go and park yourself inside the city then. Let's see if I can hunt down those ships. But yeah, I'm thinking we actually go and take this. That's one less city of his we have to convert. We ignore her stuff for now. Because she's got some neutral cities. Alright, you're here. You got money spreads for conversions. Let's see if we can't uh, convert China. By wandering around there. Oh, rip, GG. That's okay. I might have been able to run into the city first. No, actually, couldn't really. Um, You can build an archaeologist. We may as well do that. So traders, no. Spies, no. You can go down the shipyard line, which I guess is probably fine, actually. Production booster. Production is bad. We want a trading unit to come out from you. Are there any religious units I can kill? Is there a Congolese settler randomly wandering around near my coast? Yes, there is. I don't know what we're going to do about that. But it's there. You just chill a sec, because there's still an enemy boat roaming around. You haven't converted to anything yet. Which isn't really a problem, but... Uh, I better wait here. I don't want to get bopped by a ship as I cross the sea. The idea is to, to hang around near here. But yeah, I'll have to bring the uh, Conquistador over here when, like when we've got a little bit of window between attacks. Are they actually planning a real assault over here? Well, we don't actually have any city walls. We'll have to make sure to send some ships in that direction. Oh my god, I still have a caravel exploring. Well, hey, you. Come over here. Boom. Dead. Um, oops, I did not mean to talk to you. And I wanted a traded thing over here, because your production is really bad right now. It's my Ironclad Armada. 
come out this way. Go there. Be ready to do some conversions. All right, you go back to auto explore. Well, we still have an enemy. That's that's soul that's doing this stuff. Yeah, um, upsetting my ships. Okay. Three more turns. Two more turns. My coffee is empty. Whatever shall I do? Why is it the AI always needs a settler? I don't know, but they do, yeah. They if Their AIs definitely program, if I don't have a settler, build a settler. Then try to use the settler. Then, you know, repeat. Forever. But they can. Like, they've got the excess production. It's, like, ridiculous. They can just blob out, like, so mad. Um, may as well build the, the university here. I've got a fair amount of money. I could buy a building. Also, faith buy. Although, I was going to wait just a tick until it's safe. Although, the faster I... The faster I convert, the more faith per turn I get because one of my policies, but I'm not going to get that much of it anyway, so it's not really a huge deal um, one way or the other. I feel like we're going to want a harbor over here. So, we'll build it adjacent to the city and and the oil. Sure. Or we'll put it on this side. It'll be vaguely more protected or something. Not really, but let's pretend. All right, that got blowed up. Builder over here. We actually have quite a few things to do with you. My city's still okay, right? Yeah, I'm going to get the Conquistador out of there, actually. And get ready to go and convert over that Spanish city when we take it. Or, Aztec. I keep thinking, like, Spanish Conquistadors interacting with the Aztecs, and then I get the names all befuddled. Oh, hello. Oh, you're not currently in my territory. Please enter my territory. How many trade routes got built there? Answer appears to be a lot. Eh... And you've already got a trade route going to something, probably. I don't know. Maybe not. Oops. I don't actually want to talk to you. Um, spread religion. I don't think we'll have enough threads to convert that, but we'll see. One more turn. Watch him, like, not be willing to peace out. It'll be a little frustrating if that's true. Mm. Barbarian ar modern armor. Damn, man. All right, buddy. You're going to wag your finger at me? No, 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 my friend. I'm going to wag my finger at you. How would you like it if some uh, barbarians accidentally took over your city? Would that feel good? No, I don't think so. Come back around here. There's someone to kill there. More traitor. I don't know if we can take a city with a conquistador. I don't suppose I can buy just one more conquistador, could I? Because at least, um, I don't actually have the tech to make armies. Oh, I will with mobilization. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to purchase a Conquistador. And I'm going to get it down there and we'll make a Conquistador army as opposed to a core. And that might be able to take cities that are not coastal and that would be handy. Nope. Hello. Partisans. Well, let's gain sources. Alright, not yet. How
how is the state of things? I mean, science is still static. No progress, no progress. Culture, that's not going to be a thing. And yeah, so there's still some neutral parties to fight over. Let's soul land some muskets here to go kill my scout. Seems rude. Someone's declaring on China, all right. Oh, that's an ironclad. You can't come bombard. What are you doing here? Who told you to come here? Certainly that was not me. I would never do a stupid click that doesn't make any sense. Seriously, bro, you got a GG out of this, man. I'm not giving you 52 gold per turn just so I can keep your freaking capital. What's wrong with you? You moraine. If I have to take that city, I will. If I have to give it to barbarians, I will. And so much I don't care, man. It, that's not a campus, right? No, that's the theater square. Still, you know what mission it is. Deft. Russian apostle? Interesting. So you just have a pantheon. Not a religion. There we go. Convert it over. 100 gold. Nice. Welcome to the awesome religion. The religion of me. I mean, Kuda. We play RimWorld with Mod of Mars? Oh, I don't know what Mod of Mars is. I will take a look and see what it is. So, all these guys... I all got killed off. That's good. Um, you can upgrade to an ironclad. We don't have to discount for it anymore. It's probably worth doing, though. It gives us a second ironclad and a little bit more flexibility. Um, oh, hello. I can go and harass up over here. Nubia switches to democracy. Good for them! All those hexes make want to go and download Steel Panthers. Ooh. Death world. Oh, we got a, a boost. Without radio. All right, radio. Do we have aluminium? We do actually right there. Which gives us a Eureka, which is nice. Any others? How much do we actually have? Because we may have already mined it. Oh, we've got access to three. Yeah, we're good there. Wow, we blew up that tank. Nice. Could have used the ship, giving him a little bit of XP, perhaps. Uh, harbor up some more. You are in a good place to heal up. You may as well heal. Come on, man. I'm threatening you on all fronts. Just GG. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, we have a spread left. Nice. I'm just going to delete this guy. Oops. Although, you know what? I probably could have pieced out Soul, I just realized. But I don't need him anymore. Eh. I don't know. Free worker by Megara? Oh, we'll check it out. Oh, yeah, this guy. Uh, you can't capture at sea, though, I don't think. I think you can only kill at sea. Uh, yeah, I'm not stopping my spies. We do have loot. Try to escape on foot, which is safer. Excellent. Especially since this is the guy with the, uh, the I'm better at blowing up um, rocket pads, which is pretty good. 
All right, healed up. Oh, we can capture it. Excellent. I think, is he running a project that he can repair his walls? He shouldn't be able to do that if his city's been damaged, but it feels like his walls are going up. I'm very confused. Go heal up in the city. We might want to swing up here and just reconvert this, actually. Like, explore a little bit more with this guy, but then send him up there, because it'll be easier to convert a small city. <laughs> Threatening on all fronts, just GG. That's exactly what terrorists are saying to the civilized world. Hey, you now! I'm not a terrorist. I have... I, I have... I have a flag. Alright, I guess some of them have flags, too. Um... All right, money's going up. Balamor, you have a harbor, which we just built, but nothing else really going on here. Okay, go. And, yeah, I mean, at some point, I'm going to have to flood, like, a million more apostles, but I'm just kind of waiting to see what the uh, maximum whatever is going to be. Where's the conquistador? There he is. So you're going to be ending up here. You're then going to... Oh, not be able to merge up. I guess because it wasn't on land. Oh, I don't have the thing yet. Three turns. Okay, that's fine. Do you have a flag? Let's get some fish on. Let's get some fishing. We might as well promote you. Rolling Barrage. Rolling Barragey. I don't see any religious units to kill. I haven't tried piecing out in a bit. He might be okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to run over here and see if I can get a conversion with just one charge, which I should be able to. Like, I don't even want that city, but I'll take it if you make me. I mean, it would still be better for me. Not even willing to, like, demand gold anymore for it. Do -do 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 -do. <clears throat> Not a terrorist, just ask Gorgo. <laughs> oh, wait. I do not see religious units. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to take this city as another foothold, maybe. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to build a lumber mill here. Bombard, bombard, bombard. Uh, I'm going to move you to here, because you have no forces to actually hurt me, which is good. But I'm still thinking it... We'll see. It's possible that the Conquistador can take the city um, just as a core level, but I would be surprised. Even with zero hit points, we've seen our units just bounce off a city and die sometimes. Mod of Mars is more extreme than extreme difficulty because you need a source of air, water, and soil. Ooh, neat. That's Rimworld, huh? That's very cool. 91 turns for a seaport. Bring it, let's do it. No traitors, no spies. Um, you actually might want a granary now, but I don't know. More harbors! Harbor all the things. I mostly harbor a lot of resentment. I could declare war now and try to kill this guy. No, it's okay. I'm just 
come here. I'm taking a little risk by leaving this, uh... Oh, that's my ironclad. Um... Oh, we have more than one. You know what? How much will this leave me with? Slightly above 50%. You're actually mostly healed. I think we can... Oh yeah, there we go. We can take the city. And I will. Or... Now I will. I am tempted partially to just burn it down to the ground. The thing is, it's actually pretty defensible because there's not a lot of width there, especially if I leave some ships over here. Um, and we could even focus our initial attack there. You know what? Forget. I will keep the city. It's fine. Um, actually, start by repairing your outer defenses. waiting for promotions. Let me just go and bring this down to zero. Okay, and check. Uh, first of all, it's going to force me to path around. I guess I can do this. And yeah, and I'll just move here, so I can't I can't finish the move and next turn, I guess it will end my turn to go and uh, form an army over here. Well, I'll check the numbers. Maybe it's going to be safe to attack. And at this point, I'm taking it. Because screw these guys. Plus, I can convert the city with just an Inquisitor charge, and that would be nice. When they are preparing for war. The Veil Mass saves us a lot of money. No, we're good with money. Okay, one more tap just in case it makes a difference. And if we look... Uh, we do have hit points left, so we will actually be able to take it. Slightly risky, but not that risky. Got to boost the sanitation, totalitarianism. Hey, that's appropriate. We are going to keep this city. Don't be a punk. The AI just wants me to wipe them out. They just, I don't know why, but they don't believe me when I say that I'm a pacifist. I don't understand it. It's actually kind of offensive. I mean, really, when you think about it. I'm offended. Wish I could kill these guys. Again, something, something, spite. You'll be chilling out over here. We'll probably get some whines about it, but I don't care. Move into friendly territory. Heal. I'm always a pacifist. Taking Congo is a perfect way to colonize the Aztecs? I are confused. Alright. Flip you back over to Drown Kuda. Excellent. China's got a lot of cities. We are going to have to work a little bit more to convert. All right, I'm no longer giving in to your demands. Tough. You want... You think I should have more amenities? Now, you haven't rebuilt your uh, rocket lab, have you? No, pillage still. Good. No science victory allowed. Oh, did it just say Spelly Spark was con rock constructed in Marrow? I feel like there was literally just a pop-up saying that. Where the frack... There you are. It still says pillage, but it might be a fog of war thing. Pop out a few more builders here. Okay. You. Where's your promotion? No, I want this guy, level 2 guy, because you're the rocketry one. Good. You are going to Nubia. 
to Mero. Go. And you are probably... You know what? If I send you to, say, maybe... Um, maybe the Aztecs. Now, you can't sabotage any religious stuff. Although, I could take relics away from you, maybe. I don't know if that's... I don't know if you can steal relics. I don't think you can. I'm going to put you in the, uh, the capital, though. Keep an eye on things. No, can't shoot this guy. I don't know how to get this guy convinced that he's lost. You've lost! Congo has a city next to the Aztec? I mean, it had this one up here. I think it just has these two. Why are you making me do this? <laughs> Trying to take pity on you. Maybe if I just leave him alone for a few turns, he'll decide he wants to peace out. Anyway, I'm going to get in position to uh, beat the crap out of the Aztecs. So, major defeat. I think... I would have some hit points left, though. Although he can attack me with the missionary. I didn't realize there was a missionary back there. That's a little unfortunate. I wonder if it's due to lack of ground forces? Maybe. Maybe if I built just more just land troops, he would GG out. I mean he's got he's at 61 military strength compared to my 992. Oh, I can get a great person. A great scientist. Hey. Oh, you know what? We're, we're going to take the... We're just going to hate draft Carl Sagan here. Just to deny him from anyone else. <laughs> ah, lovely stuff. Oops. I know. Monty is gonna be so surprised when I when I break my word about, you know, just passing through. Where the religious units go? Well one's over there. Some of them are retreated over here. There's that guy, which I might, you know, want to do something with. Um let's run you over there. Rest until healed. track of this destroyer as well if we can give you a promotion um there you go tortoise there's my great scientist uh let's move you somewhere else move you over to nelop if i'm ever even going to use you with i'm not sure i will i build a satellite so carl sagan can have a purpose yeah well maybe Oh, I lost some suzerain ship. Like, we might just have to wait until he accumulates some war exhaustion. I have always considered which I'm not sure if it will happen. Like, I don't know... What we're going to do to make that be a reality. Alright, alright, uh, Carl. Just uh, chill out over there. And I'm going to want my Inquisitor over here at the front to auto-convert some of these cities, so you do that. Meanwhile, where did... 
that Aztec ship go? There it is. So I should move this way first. Let me start with the damaged guy. Excellent. Whoop! Hey! Um, I have another Inquisitor, don't I? Oh, they're all here. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Am I at war with any city-states? Lisbon, make peace. Uh, you, make peace. Okay, good. After reading, uh, I think I'm going to buy it soon because I like Civ 5 and it's different enough. Oh, you're talking about Civ 6? I, I quite like Civ 6. I like it a lot. I still like Civ 5. Civ 5 is still an awesome game. Wonderful. Civ 6, also an awesome game. Awesome in slightly different ways. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. Granary completed. I don't know. Build a holy site. Sure, why not? Whatever, I'm going to buy this site. Done. Go. Alright, let's faith purchase a whole bunch and then see what we can do. We might just be able to, like, sneak something in crazy here. I think you've got a holy site with all the stuff here, and you're the right religion. And we'll have a carpet of um, apostles moving together, possibly into this territory. So I think I'm going to declare war here. How to win a religious victory? Conquer anyone who founds a religion. Conquer anyone where those religions were spread to. Exactly. Declare holy war! Hey! That re religiously converted one of your cities. All warmonger penalties have. Look at me! I'm using a valid CB on someone! Uh huh. I'll probably get like a freaking achievement or something. I don't know if there is one. I know there's a, there's a boost. Like a Eureka you can get from this. Alright, armada, the ironclad armada, move up so that we've got vision. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Mamba might get hit, but actually I don't care. It's not like it's mine. Um, and then we'll just pull out our inch. And you're gonna pew, pew that guy. Finish him. Thank you. Barbarian workers all up in here, that's interesting. And whap. You. Whap. And that's outside of our territory, so you just chill for a second. And then you are still not repaired. Okay. So, just out of curiosity. It's a forever war. Maybe if maybe if I asked for something other than his capital, you know that's actually that's possibly valid. Oh, never mind. You're you're just being a total poop head. Gotcha. Apostle. Yeah, I know. There's one here and there's one here, but I ain't got a I ain't got a way to fight him yet. This guy's still healing up. Aztec declare war on Vilnius. Trying to denounce Aztec. Hey! I broke a promise. Oh no! Somebody stop me! Before I declare again! And that's probably... Yeah, if there was a seacoast, I think we'd be able to do it. I think here we won't actually take the city unless we get a really good roll. But, oh, that's fine. We'll get it next turn. Um, ba -da 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 -ba -ba. Go ahead with the power plant. 
once we move the religious units, we will probably spawn some more. Go ahead with the seaport. Yeah, I can't take the city. Uh, oh, I could use... I could kill that guy. Oh, I think he used all his charges. Oh, no, there he is! I could kill this guy with military units if I had anyone nearby. But... Doesn't seem very convenient. I don't know. I'll go over this way anyway. Meanwhile, you can go and deal damage to that. And you will still... Just rest a little. All right, promotions. Ah, proselyzer. That's excellent. Oh, I should move these guys first, because otherwise I won't be able to recruit. Uh, martyr, sure. Proselyzer, excellent. Hmm, we'll take the convert barbarian thing, although I don't think it's going to be relevant. Um, I need one inquisitor for one of my cities. Although I've got a bunch of inquisitors, I can use some of their charges for something. Let's get one more apostle here. Uh, trade route into here. Sure, let's do that. That's fine. Quill's going full Cortez. <laughs> um, we're not going to have the uh, the Conquistador here in time to go and convert him, but that's okay. Spy has arrived. Archaeologist? Sure, why not? In the midst of all this religious warfare. And there you go. Take this city. I mean, the Conquistador wasn't anywhere nearby, right? I don't think, anyway. Sure, we'll keep the city. Yeah, we'll have to send an Inquisitor up there. Hey, we can, uh, we could faith by a pagoda. Although, at this point, I think all the faith is actually going to go into, um... Into spawning religious units. Alright, we'll swing up to the north over here. There are some planes in there, but I'm not actually concerned with them. This is now inside my territory. Lovely. So, you are going to gain sources first. That's still okay. I don't suppose you have... I did not capture any holy sites. Oh, yes, I did. Nice. I suppose if we're going to take this city, it'd be easier from the other side. Uh, yeah, it has a little bit of coast, so we'll probably lurk to do that. I don't know what it's going to take to get him to GG. And here we're still hoping to maybe go and kill that guy. Because apparently no one wants the GG ever. Alright, well the Inquisitor army is going to move over here. Because we may have to just leave him with one city. We'll see. Um, science, nothing good. Culture, he's going up again. But I, I have to assume his rate of going up is going to be greatly reduced. I don't know if there's going to be any way to actually reach that, reach that guy, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to move you off of here and give you... Translator, religious spread is triple strength in cities of other religions. Nice. That's very handy. You, you have charges, right? Good. You're actually going to stop in the city, and we'll do some conversions there. Oh, I could have bought uh, another Apostle here. Okay, planes are shooting at my ships. Oh, that is a lot of damage! That is an impressive amount of damage. You want Citrus for one gold per turn. Listen, dude. Don't be a poop head. Poop head. Yeah, add a valid CB. Holy war. The effect of the mass media is not to elicit belief, but to maintain the apparatus of addiction. I mean, we might actually want to run propaganda.
because war awareness is a bit of an issue. Or it might be. Because apparently we're never getting out of these wars because people are never willing to GG. Do, 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 do. You. Get in here. Um. Hmm. The armada, or the uh, ironclads, I should say. I'm gonna sit on your oil. You know what? I'm actually gonna keep sending my whole fleet to the north because we can keep wrapping around there and hitting some cities, and that's gonna be okay. Um, kill you. I'm gonna get you to retreat back over here. You're gonna come to here and take a shot at that guy. Wait, oh, I can't bombard! You can melee attack the religious units, but you can't bombard them. Oh, poop. Oh, well, that's okay. We've got a huge wall of freaking apostles coming in here. We're gonna do some rap battles. Which apparently they can stack on, the, on tiles. If you say so. Destroyer could potentially cause problems over here, although I don't think so. Not by himself. Don't kill my ships. No! My god! Airplane's strong. Okay. It's gonna put our dent in our plans here. Oh, are there airplanes in the city as well? Yeah. Wow. There's plenty of inland cities, right? We'll cloak up barbarians first. Yeah, I, I don't know what the barbarian situation will be. I mean, these cities are still fine right now. I'm worried about some of the cities we've recently taken and what's going to happen there. So, yeah, you're going to remove heresy. Thank you. Rest and repair. Spy over here. Okay, we need to... Like, gaining source would be nice, but I've got to disrupt rocketry as soon as possible. Got to prevent her from making any of those projects. We do have the... I count as plus two levels higher for disrupting rocketry things, so that's going to be good. Yeah, I can't peace out yet, but... I'll we'll have to see what we can do about this guy. Gorgo has been defeated. Did you know, guys? Gorgo has been defeated? That's a weird message. Maybe I will come around here instead. And then what? Now, if anything, I should go around and just hit these cities. Holy shit, man. Uh, lost another boat. Yes, Gorgo felt special. We've heard rumors of Gorgo, yes. But I mean, we got a message about it, which was crazy. Like, why are we getting messages about Gorgo now? Okay, yeah, we're just running away from the airport. 
We'll hit that city there and then see if we can convince them to do something. I may have to build a bunch of ground forces just to convince people that GGing is the right answer. I do have an airport over here. I can start building my own. Well, I don't have, you know, much tech, but we could get there. How much money do I have? I will buy the hangar. Probably. I'm gonna trade routes come out of here too later. That's what we're gonna do. Just done repair. He doesn't have much of a ground force. So, overall, we're going to be okay. Um, Conquistador, you're going to go ahead and uh, you're going to be looking to land over here, buddy. Uh, Quill's accent is lovely from a French point of view. Trust me. Oh, God. Stop mocking me! You're mean! Oh, wait, what is this? Rebellion? Oh, fuck, down here? Oh, Jesus, that's a real rebellion, too. Uh... Oh, there's an Aztec destroyer here, too. Hmm. Yeah, see, that's the problem. It's the cities that we've recently taken. Well, you have... A, I don't know why you have no war weariness. But this one has a million points of war weariness. I don't know. We must need ground troops. Alright, well, tell you what. We're gonna, we're gonna start working towards... Uh, we're gonna build a tank army here very slowly over 22 turns we'll, we'll build a handful of them where we've got the stuff for it uh you don't have any of the buildings to let you bulk produce just build a military academy then i don't know we could buy it but ironclad i guess you'll be coming around here damaged or not that's fine you're gonna wait there battleship fleet you make your way over here to defend i guess So I still don't need that. I could improve that tile. There's not a whole heck of a lot going on, although I suppose I can go for farming adjacency. That would be okay. Um, you know, I'm actually if I'm thinking, if I'm going to do anything with these guys, I should send them somewhere I'm not at war with, because otherwise I'm just going to, like, I'm not going to be able to take a city and convert them. Although maybe, I don't know. Because I don't think they can get bombarded. You wait there. And do we have archaeological stuff to do? I mean, we must, right? There's one over there. Okay, well, let's start with that. So we got a doot doot doot. Who is the doot doot doot? Oh, we got a couple. We got Chinese chipmunk who came in a little while ago. Sorry I missed you there, Chinese chipmunk. Howdy, Quill. I'm a psychology and sociology double major, and a professor is helping me do a study on how race and economic class affects creativity. I wanted to share some love. Cheers and thanks. That is a really interesting sounding class. Holy cow. That actually sounds brilliant. Cool. And Scrooty, thank you very much as well. Thanks for all the entertainment. Greetings from Norway. Oh, thank you. Talk. Talk and, you know, cheers and all those things. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Again, you guys keep making this happen, and I appreciate it. Uh, you're also keeping me sane when the AI is being a big poopy head and not willing to surrender ever, ever, ever. I mean, with Gorgo, I understand. Game mechanics, sure. Nubia found a new city name. Heh. <laughs> Heh. His barbarians seem a little unfocused, which is good for me. They're probably just going to go around plundering, or pillaging, I should say. At least I don't really have to worry about them. Enemy spy was captured. Okay. Heh. Hey. 
Let's actually convert you, because that'll be one more city in our favor. Although I think population matters. Yeah, we're just going to send a wall of people over this way. But that's assuming we can piece out the Aztecs ever. But we'll, we'll get there. We'll deal with that problem when we get there. Inquisitor can keep chilling over here. That's fine. Wait until they've got more ships. Yeah, you're going to go... Go west, young man. Uh, you're going to wait here and try not to get murdered. Here, tell you what. Get in there. Okay, that airport is empty. All right, these guys are all healed up. Nothing to fight off right this second. Chill in these places. Um, oh, yeah. Sure, more missionaries. Or missions. And I do need to buy some more apostles. Greetings from Portugal. Hey! Cool. Only French I hear is from Alize songs because they occasionally listen to them. Yep. There's some good tunes. Hey, we have entered the atomic era. Now, to be fair, we're well ahead of time of actual history. To be less fair, um, the AI has like, been crushing us all along with that, but hey, uh, we can construct an additional spy, excellent. Um, state police, mm, no. No, we're good. So we got the boost for totalitarianism, but we don't really need more like military policies. I think democracy is the way to go for us. We really need, like, the full-on economic policies. The Diplo's not bad in the wild cards. Yeah. That's what we need to do. Inquisitor can still chill there. You can chill here. You're going to come and hook up this oil for us. Inquisitor, stay there. Battleship Armada. Can't really move away. It's too bad we can't bombard this. I guess if we had a submarine, we can go and plunder this, right? That would actually be kind of interesting. I'm pretty sure you can do that with a sub. Naval Raider. You can plunder stuff on a coast, right? Okay, let's do it and find out. I'm going to spend all my money on a submarine, which I can't do because I've got a ship in the city. Maybe I could look up the thing. Submarine. Probably won't say. It's na rating naval unit, but does it specify if they can do coastal shit? Upgrades from Privateer. Privateer has the ability to coastal raid. Cannot be seen until... I didn't realize the Privateer was like a submarine and had the stealth mode on it. Alright, well, chat hasn't said anything either way, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Probably the second I hit the button, then cat, chat will finally catch up and be like, No! Don't do that, you stupid idiot! I'll be like, oh well. Boom. Die. Boom. Don't die. For science! There you go. Kalisa Fox has the right idea. We gotta find out. For science. Um, apparently I still have some ships coming up this way. And some slowly coming over here. We have, like, double ironclad. Okay, listen. Gotta stop splitting my forces here. Just move out of bombardment range or whatever, maybe. Hopefully. And yeah, we'll find out what we can do here. There we go. Kane's got the right idea. 
Bomber can do the same. Oh, bombers can go into the pillaging like that too. That's interesting. We discovered uranium. Guys, 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 guys. We have uranium. What? Actually, we already have two mined. Holy cow. I got a Colonial War CB against Peter. All right. Not enough moving points left. Hopefully, no one can see me there. Find out, I suppose. You wait there. You wait there. Chill. I was still supposed to send one guy to convert the city I took. Hang on a sec. Oh, I do. Good. You're not a proselyzer, are you? Ooh, you're triple strength in other people's civilizations, so I don't actually want to use you for that city. You know what? Narnok's got a holy site and is the correct religion. And it's got everything we need. I have enough faith. Let's get um, some apostles over here. We'll get a couple and we'll see if, who gets a promotion that makes sense to use it for that. It's only got 79 Bombard, actually. And this is level 3, which means it can heal in enemy territory. But yeah, we can just keep dancing back and forth and, and take it as is. Although, I'm going to move you to a better location to eventually take the city. Here, go there. Excellent. Keep moving west. You. Come over here. Beat the crap out of that guy. Almost, but not quite. So we might lose a trade unit here, but that's okay. You are going to dig that up. Bam. It's an artifact from Philip. Well, la -dee da Alright, money per turn is still pretty good. Faith per turn feels pretty good, although I don't really have a baseline for it. Let's take a quick look. Culture. Con okay, the Congo's target has gone up, although their number of tourists has gone up a lot too. Okay, no missions have actually gone. Well, the big thing will be to check after we blow up um, her uh, launch pad over here will be to confirm that there's actually nothing going on. Oh my god! They killed the submarine! <laughs> we'll just have to get bomber tech or something. What are we researching right now in the tech tree? We're working our way up to this. Let's go and get advanced flight so we have access to actual bombers. Then come back over here. There. Spent two grand for a submarine that got blown up. And I was like, I'm a little concerned that being adjacent is not going to let me, is going to get me spotted. But I had to, like, have enough movement to do it. <laughs> poop to poop. Oh, well. Um, let's just get the seaport again so that we can build, like, all the crazy bulk ship units later. Oh, let's build a new spy. Uh, hold on. That'll take me 66 turns. Just, I don't know. Start our shipyard. Cancel the spy. Where's my capital? Capital. You. Build me a spy. Thank you. Right, so you're going to be doing other conversion things. So I don't think you can bombard the guy. No, but this is going to auto-convert, so no, we're going to be fine. So you're going to move in here and bombard that. Step back. It's a little bit slow, but it's fine. You know what? Let's go and blow this up before they get airplanes over there, although they can still put one in the city. All right, what's your promotion? Two extra spreads, there we go. That's fine, actually. You only get one promotion to choose from? Do we have, like, a wonder over there or something like that? He gives us extra choices. I think that's probably true. So we get a crappy medic unit we don't really care about. That fish can't be worked. This one can, though, so I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Finish that guy off. Trade route. Um, don't come out of here. Instead... I'm going to get you to come out uh, from over here. So you've dug that up. What else do we have to dig up? Like, 
I even have a lens for it, and it's not really uh, highlighting any diggables. Oh, over here. There we go. Do, 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 do. I do have an aerodrome right over here. So that's why I was sending some production here. I was like, let's... I may not need to build the outer defenses anymore. It might be okay. But I don't have the bomber tech either, so... We can start maybe on the hangar. And, uh, yeah, once we get trade routes coming out of here, we'll build a little bit better. There's not a whole lot of production here, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, yeah, I don't have plastic yet. This is going to be our last one more turn. Has Quill ever lost a Civ game on stream? Oh, yeah. I mean, with Civ... Mm, you have to seed me the city, buddy. Oh, you'd be willing to do that. And give me the grass cutting sword. I think I'm okay with this. We've got the city, we've got, like, the slightly closer toehold. The thing is still to go and convert him and to slow him down, which we've got. We can always redeclare war. It's going to be fine. I mean, we're about to take that of the city, but I don't think it makes much of a difference one way or another. I suppose I could wait a turn or two. Picked one with the airport. Um, I mean, we've already got an airport here, but yeah, that's a higher level airport, right? Zero six. Because that's 04, the one we've got here. Yeah, we may as well wait, just wait. Actually, I just realized we can actually bombard from the other side here. Good. Visitor stay. So that's the Apostle with the translator. So we want to use you in foreign land. So we're going to just have you chill here for now. This trade route, yeah, highest production is going to be fine, so do that. Um, I'm worried if I moved him here, the conquist the the tra um, yeah, the conquistador might get bombarded. So we're gonna have to wait two more turns because I want to get rid of all the walls first. And then we'll have to rename some cities as well. Seriously though, are you still completely unwilling to GG up, buddy? My god! What is wrong with you? some wonders but that's okay what is, is this a spaceport it is a spaceport well let's steal some tech boosts all right one more one more turn actually maybe two more i kind of want to like go until the the um this war ends and since barstone is currently traveling to scotland i don't have to worry about making sure i don't overlap his stream although i don't want to go too long i'm still sick and, well, mostly recovered from it, but low energy. Don't want to overdo it. I did record, like, five episodes of RimWorld this morning, so... I've probably already overdone things today. <laughs> Looks like to the right of Conquistador is a spaceport building. Um, I think here? Oh, yeah, you're right. So he's been he's going to pursue a science victory. Oh, more denouncements. Something, something warmonger. That's okay. We'll, we'll make sure to send spies. So, WAP, WAP, and yeah, we have to end up adjacent somehow. Looks like no matter what, it's going to take three goddamn turns, uh, two turns if I end up there, which I guess is going to be thing. And I want the free conversion. Okay. 
I don't know. Let's go and threaten this city over here. Quango. Maybe that'll help. So move this Inquisitor closer to his front. Chocolate. Okay, you just chill. I don't want military units. But they're not building much military unit because it's the sea. Like, they recognize they're on a naval map, so they don't have to build a bunch of ground units. But then they're also not building a lot of naval units. Because AI. I mean, those, those planes are good. They should move the planes down here. So yeah, I could take the uh, city this turn, but I'm not gonna. Oops, that's going the wrong way. I was like, thinking I was sending him to Aztec land, but no, he's supposed to be going to China. Yeah, these, these videos will start uploading to YouTube soon. Um, I had the big backlog of Civ Five stuff that I was getting on first. Oh, we killed a Chinese spy. And we succeeded, succeeded in spying on the city of Mero, which... Oh, that was the, um... That was the spaceport mission. That is very good. I can build the Bolshoi over here. Well, by all means. Let's do it. Get the Inquisitor here. Yeah, we'll go and get more chocolate. Why not? Bomb you to zero. Move you adjacent to the city. Ironclad, take the city. Free conversion. We will keep it. And then we will peace. Seed, seed. Hold on. Oh yeah, it's not a third city. Um, give me the grass-cutting sword. Give me a bunch of money. You do more? No. 15, you'll still do. There you go. So we take two cities of grass cutting sword and some money. I accept. And then we're gonna swarm you with uh with crap. With religious units. Let's see if we can obliterate your own goddamn religion. That would be swell, wouldn't it? Um I guess you can repair the monument first, that's fine. Let's rename these cities. Bum ba ba. Uh, we've got Furao 1. And at this point, I think I'm gonna... I don't know if it'll let me. I think it will. Um, Phoenix Gaming. Spelled that way. Um, I think we can rename these. I mean, we haven't actually got them in the peace deal, and usually I hold off. But at this point, I'm getting salty, so I'm gonna rename these cities right now. Grunty First Aid... Your capital is no longer Mabanza Congo. It is now Ender's Dragon. And Combat 46. Ha! There. For spite. For spite. I don't know why he's not surrendering. So yeah, we will put in a cut here. Continue next week. Um, oh, man. He's got some AT crew armies here, but, uh, I mean, he was going to peace out anyway, and I'm not sure he could have done anything with it regardless. In terms of our military, I don't know what we're doing next. Let's take a quick gander here. Culture-wise, yeah, he, he still goes up, although the target's gone up, so I think it's going to be okay. Science-wise, okay, we did blow up her spaceport. Let's verify that, first of all. Spaceport, once again, blown up, and she did not successfully get a Mars project down, so that's really great. This guy uh, gets another freaking promotion. Time to complete all missions reduced by 25%. That sounds lovely. Um, and then in terms of religion, so, I mean, we still have to, we have to spread it a little bit more to her. I can't believe she doesn't have it. Two of her big cities have got it. That's someone else. And then she's got two more. She's got another city over here. But that's, that is converted. Probably if we convert one of these cities, it'll be okay. So we'll probably get Nuri. Um... Yeah, and do what we can. Be handy if it, like... There's no quick way at a glance to see which Civ is missing from this list. You'd have to go process of elimination, which is slightly awkward, but... 
I guess not too bad. And we did completely eliminate another religion by killing Greece, so that's going to be okay. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching, folks. Uh, again, Barstone is currently traveling, so there's no stream uh, after mine. The... What is this? Successfully disrupted rocketry, yeah. Uh, my next stream is going to be on Saturday. No idea what we're going to be playing on Saturday. Um, I think... It might be some Dwarf Fortress, but uh, there might be a new game that comes up. and we might, it, It's fun to, like, test new games on stream because we get a lot of immediate feedback about how we feel about how things are going. So um, we're going to we're gonna consider doing something like that. But uh, DF has got to be played and properly finished. We're like, there's good stuff right now. I mean, we could just open the, uh, the circus, but that would finish it. But at the same time, I kind of just feel like building it and making it better. We'll see how it goes. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you everyone who followed, everyone who subbed and resubbed. You guys are awesome and really make a big difference in supporting the channel. Really, really do. And the people who contributed to the Whiskey and Chocolate Fund, you guys are supporting my liver sclerosis. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.